Uh, uh. Oh, three bad girls. God damn. Flintstone cereals because I have kids. I buy Flintstone cereal because me and Tyrell like Flintstone cereal. Ain't that right? Uh huh. 2018. 2018 was nuts. It was the best year of my life, it was the testiest year of my life. I woke up and decided it was a good idea to have a baby, get married, and get a degree. But I don't know what I was thinking. There was no peace during purchasing items or budgeting for a wedding and a move. A lot of people don't know that we were um, preparing to move into our first house too. We were a growing family, so we had to go from this little tiny apartment that we lived in for like three years into this house. Cause look, I'm the only girl in here and they they were all up on. They use all my hair product, all the toilet paper. And they don't let me know when we were out of things. I just needed a place where I could hide, a safe haven. Tyrell needed a man cave. I needed a yoga room and we got that. This house was a, a big blessing. So we were blessed with our second child. Um, I made it through the storm and got my master's, but the shit was too much. Like I needed someone there to tell me, listen, it's not just about you. It's about this baby growing inside of you. And maybe you can take this stuff, but the child can't. I want somebody to do a study behind the psychology of a black family during funerals and weddings because shit just gets crazy and then you have to deal with the the vendors I don't even want to get into that I really want to commend Tyrell I know it was stressful for him too I do I know it was a lot on him because he had to be there for my tears for my venting for he was there for all of that for better or for worse right we had the old apartment for about two months after we moved and of course we procrastinated and waited to the day before we're supposed Wee. to be out the day before our lease is up we decided to go back and make sure everything's straightened up and things are thrown away closing the door on that chapter Hey. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. When we started this relationship thing, moving to Virginia, 
we were cleaning out apartments. I was cleaning out my apartment. We cleaned out his apartment. And now we're starting this marriage thing. We're cleaning out another apartment. Every time we move, there's another person following us. We add to the troop. <laughs> it's always another little person. Mm -hmm. Then there were five. I don't know why I told him that there was a sports button on this car. We're driving my truck, my mom mobile. No, not a van. I won't ever drive a van. <laughs> Tyrell, nobody wants to race you in a road. Tyrell thinks that he's in the bins and that everybody wants to race him. Nobody is challenging him in this truck. People do. When you hear somebody uh, engine rev for no reason, that's the sign. Especially when you look over and you make eye contact. Engine revving or did they pull off? Nah, did they pull off? Hey, they pulled off too aggressively to me. I mean, if they don't want to race, you could tell early on. We don't want to race. Our insurance says that we don't want to race. We oh, don't. no, no, I don't race for real. I'm just fine. Shout out to Allstate. What up? <laughs> Allstate. You ready? You want it? <laughs> so, the dilemma when walking in the store is always whether to grab a cart or to grab a, a basket. This is definitely not a basket trip. We don't have no kids. <laughs> we can be a little irresponsible. But they have to do some dumb shit. No. This is not Shay. This is not Walmart. This is not Walmart. <laughs> I think you got some sense. I would not record at Walmart. Why are you Because this is not Walmart. Why I like the like neighborhood Walmart for formula. <laughs> Just the mere mentioning of Walmart caused my phone to malfunction. <laughs> My phone is bougie. See what my baby section. This is my section here. Squad. Stay in the baby and kids section. But not today. Target is always a peaceful experience. It's never a bad moment. Never a bad day at Target. How, how can you peacefully play in Target? That was like the most quiet game of Marco Polo. Let's go have toilet paper. We're not doing this, Tyrell. This is why I don't go shopping with him because he wants to price match and compare everything. So that's six eighty nine. But you know what? I got time today because we got a sitter and we're only in here for toilet paper. So we can do this. What's thirty six versus what's What's greater, 36 or 18? Which one is the alligator mouth this. gonna eat? For the same price. Oh, no. Alligator mouth. <clears throat> Get this one, boo, it's 59 cents. What you doing? Uh huh. Oh, no, scope. It's the same price, that's probably better. You gotta switch it up right now and then, you know. I gotta confuse the plat. So I guess he gonna use a big boy one now. Yeah, it's that time, huh? What are, what are those two for three tanks out of stuff? Right here at the bottom. Look, whole family get new toothbrush. <laughs> we need to do self checkout. Yeah. You on bad? Hmm? We're almost done, guys. Wrapping it up because I've been promised furniture gazing. We moving up, player. We moving up, doing things. Okay, that's everything. Last day in the old apartment, and I got a little emotional. Like, what's going on? My baby's growth chart. It's a
It's Moo Day, brother in law. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad y'all in. <laughs> Babe, it's Moo Day. That's all fine. You Come on, drink out there. You want this one? <laughs> That's one I want too. <laughs> I like apple. <laughs>